The Department of Justice is opening an investigation into the city of Houston's failure to deal with rampant dumping of garbage and even bodies in predominantly black and Latino neighborhoods. The probe being led by the DOJ Civil Rights Division will look into whether city officials systematically discriminated against residents by allowing 11 of the 13 landfills and, and, and incinerators to be placed in black and Latino communities. But the city mayor has criticized the investigation. Sylvester Turner, who is African-American, says his administration has increased fines for illegal dumping and has taken steps to improve conditions in those neighborhoods. Yes, you're taking those steps, but this is something that's been going over for over 30 years. This is no secret. It's been happening in our community for decades. And we're talking about hazardous waste facilities, neighborhoods where poor people and people of color live. We go through that. We deal with that. We understand why we have different health issues because of that. But one main thing that they talk about when I read into this a little bit deeper is how do we change that? In our community, we have to get out and make sure we know who we're voting for. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure we put up our own fight because people outside our community is not going to do that. So it's really important that you vote in the right officials that's going to get this out of our community and make life better for us. Yeah. No, bro, I mean, you brought up a really good point. They always do this in our neighborhoods. You would never go to a predominantly white neighborhood and see no. uh, trash, dead bodies, things like that. And so I'm glad the DOJ is looking into this because there's all kinds of waste, medical waste, mattresses, certain things like that. Mm -hmm. And so um, the best, the investigation will also look into 311. So 311 in Houston is the non-emergency number that people can call mm -hmm. um, if they want to report something, some environmental issue, a dead body, a pothole. I mean, the, it's a wide range of things that you can report on. And so what they also want to look at is how long the response time is taking. So if black and Hispanic people are calling 311, how long does it take for them to get out there and actually do something about that issue? And so that's one thing that they also want to look into. And if you remember in May, we talked about this. That Attorney General Merrick Garland, he created the Office of Environmental Justice to examine issues like this. So this just this is just them moving forward on something that they told us back in May that they were going to be looking into. Right. And so I'm really glad that the city of Houston is one of the first places that they're stopping and they're taking a look at what's going on there. Mm -hmm. yes. Mimi, uh, excellent point. I think the other issue that we're adding on to that is that the mayor is really dragging his feet. He's not really a doing much city officials aren't really doing much to make change happen if people are at you know dumping of a mattress and of, of garbage that's one thing but the dumping of a body on the side of a road is something that is completely inhumane and and, and should be at the top priority list honestly Definitely. in this city when we talk about mattresses that's one thing like yes it's it's uh, uncomfortable and we don't want to see but when we start talking about dead bodies being dumped on the side of your street that's a very big issue but it just goes to show what they think of us in Absolutely. our neighborhoods that they think that they can just lay a dead body mm. or anything Thing in the middle of the street, mm -hmm. and we just step over it and yeah. keep going. Wow. It's, it's just sad. And, and we start getting. Um what is the the word? Not immune to it. Yeah, we kind of oh, yeah, immune, immune, immune to seeing immune to seeing things like that, and that's also not okay. You do.